human brain is the most fundamental and the most significant part of the human body since the very beginning of time. It has been recognized as the biggest testament of the intricate miracles of nature and the best work of the divine, but despite having the knowledge of its importance, its power and influence, we humans have been unable to fully unlock or even explore the full potential of our brains, we have never tried to genuinely reach its true depths. Therefore, for most of the people in the universe, this most powerful gift of God did not work for many of the people. It's just a basic reasoning machine that helps them do their everyday daily life. Simple chores. They don't completely use this precious gift of God. What if I tell you that this part of your body is so powerful that it can control your life and direct it wherever you want to take it? What if I tell you that it can turn the life of yo, or dreams, into tangible, physical three-dimensional reality, and might open the doors of other dimensions as well to make you completely understand that what I mean? Let me give an example since the very begging of your life or the life of anybody else, you might have noticed that this part of your body have never been passive but had actively participated in each everything that you are going through or doing, even the act of sleeping. And waking up can't be done without brain. Since centuries, brain have been evolving and developing itself as per the environment and the surrounding and have been responding to the things, situations, event, and people accordingly. This capacity of brain is studied in the branch of science that we name as neuroplasticity. In this study, we explore our brain and try to reach all its depths through the study of neurons. And it is through this study that we come to know that our brain is not static. Instead, it is malleable. It is not bound to limitations set by your surroundings, stations, beliefs, events, time, space, and people. It is far beyond it has the potential to overpower all these things and give you a second chance. This quality of our brain connects us with God and leads us towards growth evolution and redemption. From the religious point of view, it can be traced that this part of body have always been considered a gateway, a bridge, or connection between the physical and spiritual worlds, between the mortals and immortals, between God and man. And this is why we find different and evolving directions in religious scripts, such as in Romans 12. Never abide by the patterns and practices of these contemporary worlds. Always listen to what your mind tells you. It is renewing in nature. So going beyond the boundaries of time and space, people events, experiences, and circumstances is the divine quality of the brain. It always leads to attesting and approving God's will. Now let me ask you a very simple question, don't you think this brain of ours? Works divinely? Yes, it does. And here it is, my friends. Our brain is actually an entity that gives us divine signals. It is a pathway that will lead you to God's will and your true destiny and purpose. Our brains tune us to the frequency of God, and we develop a deep connection with the divine. This frequency of God guides and instructs us in such a way that we automatically begin moving towards our destination. We call this in connectedness as the divine neural dance. Every religion, every culture, every civilization. Every society and ethnic group has such concepts and practices where they teach to learn and harness this divine power of your mind. For example, in Hinduism, VDAs, in Quran, in Torah, we found the profound concept of metamorphosis, rejuvenation, the pursuit of divine wisdom. When you reach that level of precision understanding and synchronic accuracy, you begin reaching the true depths of spiritual principles, and it there, where the divine blessings begin to unfold upon you, you begin discovering such new paths and new ways that lead you towards healing from the trauma, bad experiences, and all the negative situations that you went through, and now your mind has become a divine receiver that always keeps you connected with the divine wisdom, and now you have access to an unlimited treasure trove of the divine blessings you have developed, a divine communication with the universe and all the things that it has. Your brain, if we look into it, M. Ellily is a divine radio. 
It always tunes your channel to the divine frequency and only plays the programs that match with your divine destiny. Now it is up to you that you always tune your channel to the divine frequency so that it may accurately take you where you truly want to reach. Now the next step is more impulsive and intriguing. In this step, we use this divine consciousness of ours with surrounding and environments this, where we learn that how the outer environment impacts our choices and decisions, and how can we harness them if we accurately use our divine consciousness, if we tune ourselves with this divine radio of ours at the right frequency. Then we don't get influenced by the outer environment. We overlook all the boundaries and limitations set by it, and we develop a bigger sense of our spirituality that holds the power to control the external environment. And now all the other boundaries, difficulties, and trials seem trivial to us now we only begin seeing, for good company opportunities, chances suitable condition, embracing patience, and being brave in all conditions, you become a warrior who is always at triumph and never loses. If there is a setback, it doesn't stop you. Instead, it takes you a step closer and boosts you for the next parts, finally leading to achievements and accomplishment of your desires and wishes. This way, you foster the love of God and always pursue for positivity. Now, if we study it in terms of neuroplasticity in scientific terms, then we come to know that when we develop and direct our neural connection at the divine frequency, then we acquire godliness in both of our spiritual and physical nature. It sculpts our brain in such a way that we consciously start making positive choices. Our intuitions and insights become stronger and our senses become more deep and powerful. Now the big question, how do we tune our brain in such a way that it matches the divine frequency? Well, the answer to this question is more simple than you can imagine. But to get that answer, you first have to understand the concept of the words that you speak. What are words? How do they work? And what is their power and influence? See, it is only a single word that can change your life forever. Words are not the trivial utterances, and they are the form of massive energy that holds specific vibration. Too much potential. If we analyze a word deeply, then we come to understand every word you speak originates from a thought. It explains your thought. And here it is. All your life is just a reflection of your thoughts. Because eventually, no matter what it is, your thoughts that get translated into physical reality, did you ever think that how a single word can get you furious? How a single word can make you happy? How a single word can change your mood in seconds. It can heal you. It can disturb or it can perform any desired action, not only on you, but all around you. In fact, the whole universe. So you have to be wise in the choice of your words. They are the building blocks of your destiny. See, if you clearly see they working, you will find that they are intricately connected to you. Feelings, emotions, and intentions. Therefore, they hold the power to owe power. All actions and reactions and consequent actions and reactions of the surrounding, they hold the power to both heal and harm. Now let us come to the groundbreaking reality that has been the reason for most of the people and even the whole societies to not prosper, that is mostly the people in the world have ignored this massive power of the word. And they have been using them randomly, ignoring. How deeply those words impacted their lives. They forgot that how the words act as a bridge to make their connection with both the physical and spiritual realms, which means it is through words that we build up our connection with the divine, with the cosmos, with the universe. Let me explain this concept to you by referring a quote from the Bible. It says, It all began with a word, because it was a word in itself. And what was the word? The word was God. This statement of Bible clearly mentions that the origination of everything began from a, a single word, and everything will get destroyed by only a single word. So it is time to stop ignoring words and begin paying attention. To them there is a divine connection between God and the words, and we can find this. Evidence in most of the religions of the world. Almost all the religions talk about the essence of our spoken words and expressions. Let's go more deep into it in scientific terminology. 
If we see them more closely, then we come to an analysis that these words are sourced to develop and design a certain type of neural connection in our brain, based on the choice of words we utter or even think of. Let me explain. This, with an example, suppose you speak some words with kindness, passion, love, and sympathy, what will happen? Yes, you got it right. They will open your heart, mind, and soul, and you will definitely begin developing a positive and gigantically powerful neural connection that will fill your body with such a positive energy that will have the potential to change the whole word as per your desires and wishes. This way, you will open yourself to divine resources, divine opportunities and chances that ultimately lead us to such divine circumstances and surrounding that will lead us to our destiny. Now let us have a look at the opposite side of this. If you utter negative words such as the words of hate, dejection, malice, treachery, skepticism, contempt, and doubt, what will they do? How will they impact your life? Yes, you guessed it right. They will ultimately produce negative energy and develop negative neural connections in your brain, leading to negative emotions and negative energy, which will attract only negative situations. S. Negative people, negative surrounding, and only negative experiences. I hope now you deeply understand the divine connectedness between words, the divine and your destiny. Therefore, it is time to Make a conscious choice about the selection of words. See this choice of words that you make in your language does not only impact you but the people to whom you speak as well. It impacts all your surrounding and all the situation that you are in. It is these words that set up our divine receptions. So now it is up to you that we only go for the words that are positive, graceful, sympathetic kind and abundant in nature far away from negativity, malice, hatred, dejection, or any other negative feeling. Now let us move to the next step. Once we learn and overpower the use of words, it is time to take a step forward, and that is our emotions. See, brain is a complex system of neurons. It does not only work on the choice of words, but the choice of your emotions also matters the same as do the words. It is time to see. How do we develop certain emotions and how do they influence the energy of our body and working of our mind? Our brain is only triggered by the words that hold the emotional potential in them. Whatever emotion that may be all the actions and reaction in your mind and consequent actions of your body. So depend upon the intensity of your emotions. The more intense your emotions are, the more stronger and permanent. Your brain's and body's actions and reactions would be fluctuation of these emotions will result in the fluctuation of the actions and reactions in your life, resulting in the fluctuations of, of the events and experiences in your life. Now let me explain this to you with an example. Suppose your here is bound with the emotions of fury. What kind of energy will it generate? It will generate the energy of hatred and the crucial part is it will ignore all the environmental impacts and only listens to your internal feelings now on the basis of those feelings of fury. All you actions and reaction will get impacted by the energy produced by that feeling of fury. On the other hand, if your heart is filled with the feelings of love and kindness, you will see all your actions and reactions will get impacted by the energy produced. By that feeling of love and compassion, our emotions are actually the whispers from the divinity that feel us to take specific actions based on the energy they carry. So it become very much, much fundamental and important that you tune your emotions and feelings as per the divine frequency and only align yourself with positive emotions, see? In the realm of mind, our emotions and words are... Interconnected both lose their impact without each other to signify the interconnectedness between our emotions and words. Let me quote a verse from Bible. It says, Your meditation, the words of your mouth and emotions be acceptable to the divine. According to neuroscience, our brain, due to its capability to adapt to the things, can tune itself to the divinity. Anytime in every situation, in every age. And scenario now to make you understand this more scientifically, 
Let me make it clear that all the above given knowledge and information works on the principle of cause and effect. You can also find this concept in most of the religions of the world, and in modern science as well this principle states that like every action has its equal and opposite reactions. So is the case with our thoughts, it emphasizes that all, our emotion, feelings, thoughts, and words make a pathway in the brain and in reaction to that brain produces the energy of the same frequency that your thoughts, words, and emotions hold, and this energy when interacts with outer environment and universe bring the desired results. Now let me tell you that this concept is not new since the very beginning. All the religions, all the civilizations, cultures, and ethical practices have been teaching the man to purify his emotions, use scared words, and always surround himself with positivity and soul purpose. For these actions was to direct the man towards his divine nature and be master of his destiny. Therefore, may friends in the end, I would ask you to be vigilant and always positive in the selection of your words, choice of your emotions, intentions, and even, in the choice of your surroundings, make sure that every decision that you take, whether conscious and subconscious, is positive and complies with the divine law. If you deeply look into it, you will find that this law is profound in spiritual dimensions and clarify you indispensable connection with divine and spirituality. Your mind has been blessed with the divine power to make its own choices, take its own. Decisions chose the intentions and emotions of its own choice. Therefore, it is now up to you and only you to surround it. An engine with only positivity and feed and enrich your mind with only positive emotions, feelings, talks, and intentions. You have to take on the path of self-learning, self-growth, evolution, and betterment leading you to the understanding of God and the true purpose of your life and its original. Meaning now, what if in the past you have been surrounded by negativity? What if you have been habitual of negative words, negative thoughts, and negative emotions? Well, there is nothing to worry about, man. You have been bestowed with the capability to adopt and modify yourself. Have can you forget the mercy of God? The divinity is always there to give you a second chance. It is never like you're stuck forever. You have to have faith in redemption, salvation, and liberation. And you know what? The best part is, this path to liberation also passes from your mind and heart. You just have to connect yourself with the divine through the intensity of your belief and acknowledge the forgiving and merciful nature of the dive. This way all your sins will start getting cleared and you will begin producing positive energy. Vur.